Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Melissa. I am the owner and artist at the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm also a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. I am constantly searching thrift stores for pieces of furniture, and I found this little cutie at the local Goodwill. It was missing one entire foot, gone, completely broken off. So for a fairly cheap price of $26, I brought her home and fixed her up. I ordered some new feet from Amazon, thinking that I wanted to take this to a modern vibe piece of furniture and attach them to the bottom of the piece after removing the remaining three legs. Don't be afraid of adding legs to a project. It's a great way to take things up to another level and also find a really smoking deal, just like this little three-legged beauty. So this little chest is a lane cedar chest and believe it or not, I've painted this probably three or four different times. This was a piece I did last year in Terra. And again, the same chest is seen here in chalk mineral paint. So what's the plan for this little cutie? Well, I'm going to paint this in silk aluminum mineral paint and we're gonna flip this in one day. So let's talk for a minute about silk all-in-one paint. The color I'm choosing today is cactus. It is a really pretty kind of a boho green. I think it's gonna go very well with the cute little legs that I added to this piece. Now, why would I choose silk all-in-one mineral paint for this project? Well, I want this project to be one color and silk is my go-to paint when I need to paint something one color. It has a built-in top coat. It has a built-in primer. It is self-leveling and mildew resistant all good things <laughs> all good things and i really like to put it on a chest like this because i feel like this chest is going to get a little bit heavy use you know it might sit in a front hallway it might sit at the end of your bed and having that built-in top coat and knowing that i'm going to actually put an extra top coat just here on the top piece is going to give me the insurance that i need to know that this is going to be a sustainable project so how do i apply my silk alamo mineral paint well you would want to get your smooth synthetic brush. The reason you like a smooth synthetic brush for a paint like silk is because it's self-leveling and you really want it to be as smooth as possible. So this is my favorite brush, the Scarlet. This is my go-to for any silk projects. Besides the fact that it fits like most perfectly right here inside the jar, it is really great for applying nice, long, even strokes and working in sections. I apply silk paint like this. You saw me clean this project. I rinse this project really well with water. You don't want any grease or residue or wax on your project before you begin painting with silk, okay? It's important to have a clean, scuff sanded surface before you begin. I'm going to go in with my Scarlet and apply one even coat of silk Alamo mineral paint. I'm going to wait a couple hours, probably about two, and then I'm gonna come back in and add the second coat. Now the first coat you're gonna see goes on a little patchy. You're gonna see it and think, hey, that's not self-leveling, that doesn't look great. It's just the first coat. Trust the process. Once you put on that second coat, you're going to find that you are going to get a amazing coverage with this paint. I'm probably only going to be using a quarter of this small 16 ounce container. A little bit of this paint goes a long way. So let's get painting. As always, here's my handy dandy reminder to shake or stir your paint well before using. Since this is a water-based product, you need to be aware that products may settle in different areas within the 16 ounce container. So shaking and or stirring will make it all even steven so that you can apply it and know that your product is well mixed. Even though I say for silk paint, you're going to probably use less amounts of paint, top load your brush. And by top loading, I mean just what I showed you right there in the video, put a little bit extra onto your brush. This is just gonna allow you to keep it nice and smooth when you're applying and work in smaller sections. So that means like the top piece or the side piece or the front piece, I don't go all helter skelter, I work in sections. So you're going to see me work in sections like the top of this piece, uh, covering the entire wood surface with one even coat of silk paint. Now take note, if you feel like that first coat looks a little patchy because it's not as thick as you want it, don't worry, you're going to come back around on your second coat and make it all self-leveled and beautiful. So for this cedar chest, painting the entire thing in two even coats, I'll probably only use one third of this container, maybe even less.
Lane Cedar chests were manufactured between 1912 and 1987. And you can actually do something pretty cool with the Lane brand that I haven't found with any other furniture company before. And when I say that, I mean that you can request a new lock. If you happen to purchase a cedar chest and you want to resell it, I recommend taking off that top locking contraption, that little metal bit that you see at the top of the screen here, in order to replace it with a child safety lock that will not lock any small child inside the chest. So cedar chests manufactured after 1987 came self-equipped with a lock that could be released from the interior, which means that anything that was made before 1987 has a lock that should be replaced before resale. So if you have a Lane Cedar chest that was manufactured before 1987, or you purchased one that you decide you want to paint and then resell, I recommend removing that top lock and or contacting Lane Cedar Chest Company and they will send you a new lock for free of charge. Please remember that Silk all in Mineral Paint has that built-in top coat and primer inside of it. So you're not adding any water. You're gonna find that this paint is a smoother texture. It's not as fast drying as chalk mineral paint. It's definitely smoother, it's definitely silkier. So do not add water to your paint while you're painting or you will dilute the products inside. It's also important to note that when I complete a section, like say the side of this piece, I won't go back over top of it until it's 100% dry. And that will take approximately two hours for your paint to dry. This is going to make sure that it dries completely and you're not going to have it peel up when you're adding your second coat or reworking that paint. This chest itself was in really great condition other than that missing foot. So if you ever do get a chest where you find that the interior doesn't smell like cedar because it should be fragrant when you open the lid, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can refresh the interior of your cedar chest very easily by taking a small sander like a mouse or a surf prep and you can take that sander and then just gently sand the surface of the inside of your chest. This will freshen the chest and you will be then able to kind of release that fragrant smell of the fresh cedar once again. So you can revive the interior. Silk paint for me is my go-to now if I'm ever painting one single color. I know that the color is going to be beautiful, that the sheen that it leaves on my project is just going to glow. Silk paint literally has a glow to it that I don't see with any other paints that I use. I really, really like it. And I think that this color in Cactus is going to make the chest look more modern and match the feet very well. Silk paint is also UV resistant and mildew resistant. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you have a bathroom cabinet that needs to be painted, silk paint is a great choice for that project. I've painted my small children's bathroom with silk paint and nautical on the cupboard doors and it looks like the day that I painted it. Even with rough use with three teenagers in there fighting for space, it looks like the day that I painted it. The colors in the silk paint line were Hampton-based inspired colors. Very muted, very beautiful, very subtle colors. Then last year, Dixie Belle decided to add 10 more vibrant colors, and they have some beautiful color ranges now too for the entire silk line. So you have to check it out. So after waiting two hours for the final coat to dry, I decided that I would add a top coat just to the top piece of this cedar chest, and I'm going to tell you why. Even though the silk paint has that built-in top coat, adding an extra protection level to the top piece of your furniture is always a good idea. I feel like a chest this size could sit at the end of a bed or in a hallway, anywhere where it might get some heavy duty use. So adding that extra protection is always a really smart thing to do. 
Silk has that built-in top coat, which is pretty much equivalent to a satin finish. So adding a satin top coat to the top of this piece isn't going to make it look any different. It's just going to provide you with an extra level of protection on your piece. I use a damp blue sponge and I wipe it on to the top surface. You can also sand in between coats of satin clear coat. It's up to you. I applied two even coats of satin clear coat to this piece. So since this piece arrived from the thrift store with four fairly modern handles installed in the front, I just saved them. I didn't do anything to them. I'm going to just put them back on the piece and vacuum out the interior and it will be done, ready to go. I think that it turned out fabulous. I really hope that you enjoy this makeover and learn something new about Silk Alma Mineral Paint. So this chest can be flipped in one day and was flipped in one day from start to finish completely redone with cactus from the silk aloma mineral paint line and dixie bell so there's a couple of things that you need to know before you walk away I want you to know that silk paint needs a cure time of approximately 30 days. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to baby that piece a little bit. Make sure that you're not gonna bump it around, scratch it. It needs time to cure and cure properly. Other than that, when you're done painting, you are finished. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned a little bit. If you need to go back to the basics of everything, chalk mineral paint, silk paint, would you bend, stencils, whatever you wish, I do have a back to basic series here on my YouTube channel that allows you to learn from the beginning, right? Right, I will see you again next time. Thank you, bye. So many kisses. Mwah. <laughs>